Boys choosing either that or cricket as their son's sport. Those who choose cricket are known as dry gods, plus the rowers of the indirect gods. We're now proceeding upstream on the River Thames, which takes us in a roughly westerly direction. This will lead eventually to Oxford and beyond. Though to reach Oxford, we take approximately two days by the river from here. This is when we do the first of the three rocks between here and the river of Oxford. Each one taking up to half a minute to negotiate in a busy day. There is a speed limit on the upper Thames of a little under five miles an hour. Added to which the Thames takes a very long time. So all in all, it's not the place to be if you're in too much of a hurry. To the left is Jason Bryan, formerly called Corporation Island, but was renamed after a well-known local councillor in the bank builder called Arthur Jacobs. It was here that some of the largest wooden boats, almost twice the length of this one, were built in the now disbanded wooden one for the boat houses and slip bays of the Jacobs Yard. As we proceed past Brockers Meadows to our right, some more of the Eton College buildings become visible, as do the spires of Eton College Chapel, which is built in an almost identical style to St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. It stands the perpendicular Gothic style of architecture. Eton College was founded in 1440 by King Henry VI, originally named as the King's College of Our Lady of Eton beside Windsor. Incidentally, the college is near the wood of the land on our right hand side, the hills are well beyond our turning point. They in fact owe portions of land in many parts of the country. This will largely due to an outdated practice where my parents of Eton boys used to donate land to the college in order to offset fees. Through the trees to our left shore, you will see a full size replica of a Hawker Hurricane fighter plane. This is a memorial to its designer, Sir Sidney Cam, whose former home stands a few hundred yards beyond. This plane bears the markings of one flown in the Battle of Britain by Squadron Leader John Grandy, who was Constable and Governor of Windsor Castle from 1978 to 1988. Sir Sidney Cam was a pupil of Royal Free School at Windsor. During this time, he designed and built a new aeroplane, which had been sold to the boys of Eton College. Whilst the Hurricane was his best known head of the Muffet, he also designed the Hurricane in 1951, which in 1954 went on to build a world speed record of 757 miles per hour. Cam's final design was the Harrier, which remained in RAF service for 50 years until 2010, and is still flown by the US Marines as the AV-8B. Ahead of us is the Windsor Railway Bridge, all one of several across the Thames, designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel, a famous Victorian engineer. The bridge was completed in 1849 for Queen Victoria, and it brought the Great Western Railway network right up to the front of Windsor Castle. The design of this bridge was unique in its day, as were many of Brunel's designs. This one, because the 187 foot central span is not secure to the sides in any way, it simply best found its own weight and six bearings, allowing for expansion and contraction of the iron belt during temperature changes. This type of span is known as a bowstring arc, and the brick fire belt is constructed between 1865 and The were incorporated into the design to prevent flood water from being trapped on the upstream side and will vent if the Thames burst the expanse. It's also believed to be the world's oldest surviving structure still in continual use and was granted the old two listed status in 1975. When the district line was extended from the Indian Boulevard to Windsor, these are the tracks of the Great Western Railway. However, this was shortly as the service was withdrawn in 1885. The Lentaria forms part of Bard's Island, so called because in the days before Windsor had a purpose for its running board, the channel behind the island was closed to boats during the summer months, providing the end of Windsor with a safe swimming area. In 1870, Queen Victoria disapproved of the site of Vegas from the Royal Train and had been moved to the downstream end of the island. In 1904,